even know what this intro is. guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be oversharing about my life this has been a video requested by the masses in the last video i mentioned i have something to tell you guys i'm going to play that back right now i have some really really huge news to tell you guys comment what you think that is to give you a little hint i have no lash extensions i have to remove my nails and i ordered a bunch of stuff for it on amazon no one's going to be able to guess what this is because you wouldn't see it coming from me yeah so today's the day i do that. editing kelly here before we get into the video i want to give a huge thank you to pair eyewear for sponsoring this video I'm about to put you on you guys. Do you see how cute these glasses are? So if you don't know what pair eyewear is they're an eyewear brand They carry prescription blue light glasses sunglasses even this brand is so unique because they have customizable magnetic lenses I have the blue light glasses. I'm a content creator So I'm always looking at my screen if you do that for a while that can be really damaging to your eyes So I always wear blue light glasses to protect my eyes Let's just say I wanted to completely change my look So right now I have the clear blue light glasses on the frames literally snap on and it changes your whole look So now my glasses match my outfit depending on my mood. I can just switch them out I have these boom i even got the sunglasses i can take both with me switch them out Excuse oh i have someone knocking on my door i want to look cute oh it's time to go outside we have some errands to run I've just been having the most fun with these and I really hope that I can work with this brand again because I genuinely love this company so much. I have the style Murphy. They're just a wider frame. And I feel like with my face shape, it's very flattering. I went with the clear base because I thought mix and matching the top frames will be a lot easier with a clear base. I picked out three top frames. So this one is blush, the tortoise. I really like the way this one looks on me. I think it's very, very flattering. I love the pattern. I love the color. All three of the frames are on right now and you can't even tell. There's so many things you can do with these. Look, I can use the sunglasses normal or I can make them pink sunglasses. When you go on their website, you will see there's so many options for the base frame. You can get them in any color. So many styles to choose from. So many top frame options to choose from as well. These are the three I went with, but I'm literally gonna go and get more because this is way too fun. I already wear blue light glasses every single day. Hair eyewear just kind of elevates the experience. Something so simple like being able to customize them to your outfit or to what you're doing in a day, like going out, makes my day. I love it. Also, look at the cute case. So if you guys wanna check out pair eyewear, I'm gonna leave my discount code right here and in the description. It is for 15% off your first pair frame. And then again, the style that I got is the Murphy. I personally feel like is the best frame in the color clear. For the top frames, I got the blush, the tortoise, and the black sun top. Gosh, I love these so much, but I can't. They're so cute. Thank you again to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the oversharing. Thought I could put a little spin on the video and show you guys what I pack when I travel. I'm an overpacker also, so these are definitely over 50 pounds. One of them was like 74, but they let me off the hook so I didn't have to pay the extra $150 fee. This is kind of crazy to talk about. I'm very, very private online. Like I don't, you guys know nothing. You guys don't even know the half of it. So I, drum roll please, I got a boob job. I did, and this was a decision I made about four years ago. I started to gain a lot of weight in a very short amount of time due to stress. I was close to 200 pounds. Literally remember the day I decided to fix my eating habits and lose weight. I looked down at the scale and I was 199 and I was like, wow, I don't feel healthy at all. I don't feel like myself. I'm sluggish every day. It was just really, really bad. I went through a really bad time. That is the day I just decided to just reaching out to people to help me go about this the right way. I lost about 60 pounds in like six or seven months. Due to the rapid weight loss, my melons over here, gravity took over. I was at a point to where the clothes I was wearing were so uncomfortable. Swimsuits, I would have to tie up so tight to literally cutting my neck up because of how tight I was tying up my swimsuit. Even the bras I would wear probably still have like indents from like how tight also in my shoulders I would tie up my bras so tight because I just wanted them to stay up my melons would come out of the bra underneath they were just so flat pancakes but also they were down to my belly button not literally down to my belly button but they were pretty like low during this time I had the worst self-confidence like it was bad y'all it was really bad still working on it before I even made this decision I decided let me first help myself mentally before I go through with this massive surgery I just I just felt like it was important to do that and be sure of myself before I go through and change something physically about myself surgically. Oh my God, I can't even talk about it. This is so hard to talk about, you guys. I am just not an open person. I love the way I look. I'm very happy with how they came out. I'm like five weeks post-op, so it's like early days. To sum it up, I gained a bunch of weight very rapidly. I lost a lot of weight very rapidly. The girls let gravity take over. I fixed my mental health, started saving up so that I can do it. I'm so blessed that I was able to. I got the surgery and all around, I'm just feeling 
feeling so much more confident and I'm feeling more like myself again. Anyways, I can wear a sports bra like this. Don't have to wear any padding. I don't have to have it tight on my neck. I'm overall so much more happy and so much more comfortable. I filmed the entire process. If you guys want to see that and you want me to go into more details to why I did it, what the process was like and what the post process was like, I will be so happy to do that. I just want to be super open with you guys nowadays. So yeah, there's more tea about my life. We're going to continue that in a second, but we're going to take an intermission and I'm going to show you what I keep in my carry on. I always keep an essentials bag. So this one I got off Amazon. It's really pretty. It's pink. You guys know I love pink. It has two zippers. Easier to get to stuff, especially if this thing is packed to the brim. It's so convenient to like turn it over. If I need something on this side, I can grab it and flip it over again and then grab whatever is on this side. The first thing, I always carry a blush with me right now. My favorite blush is this one by Mario. This is the most beautiful blush color. This is one of my favorite colors that he's ever made. So usually I'll carry like two to three. I ended up loving this one so much to where I'm like, I don't need any other blush. I just need this one. You guys know me. I love my lip gloss. You'll rarely ever see me without lip gloss. Oh my gosh, I have so... Most of what's in my essentials bag is lip products. So during the flight, I choose from these three. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. This is so good for flights, you guys. Put this on an hour before you land. You're gonna come out with beautifully moisturized, plumped lips. Summer Friday's Lip Balm it has a minty flavor to it. it. Just makes me feel like fresh on the plane. Sometimes when you sit on a plane for a while, you just start to feel muggy and I don't like that feeling. So this kind of helps with that. Always carry like a super light lip oil with me. I love this one by WYN Beauty. You can get this at Ulta. Of course, I have my essentials, my Dior lip oils. Love those. I like this color a lot. This also comes in a blush. I didn't bring the blush, obviously, because I'm obsessed with the Mario one, but I love these. I got a text. Then we have Road, beautiful summer color. I guess you lip oil. This color is absolutely insane. If you are gonna take a lip gloss recommendation from anyone, let it be from me. I find the best stuff. Those are my lip essentials, aside from all my lip pencils. Always carry a perfume with me. I have the Sol de Janeiro one. Always carry a hand cream with me. This one's by Caudalie. If you are not using a hand cream, I love this one. It makes your hands feel so soft. I'm gonna put some on right now. You just need the tiniest pea-sized amount. It's a thicker cream, so it actually lasts on my hands. My hands just feel super soft until I wash them, obviously. Hello Glow System Magnesium Reset Spray. I don't know what they put in this bottle, but every time I spray it on me, I just feel instantly happy. Please explain. We have tweezers, eyelash, and eyebrow brushes, hand sanitizer. Usually, I just keep that in like the easier to access pocket. Sometimes I will throw it in my essentials bag. This one is by Touchland, and I got this cute little like case for it. I love my cases for everything. My Touchland cases, I just like to make everything cute. -er. There we go. I just put it in my Glossier tote. My legs are killing me. Court, let me borrow her slippers. Aren't these so cute? They're kind of like platform slippers, which I love. But if you're watching this, Courtney, thank you. I love Court. She's amazing. Freaking love that girl. I'm like, oh my gosh, what other tea do I give you guys? What am I going to overshare about next? I want to. I can't even believe I even overshared about this next thing, but for some reason it stays your guys' number one questions to ask me. So since this is an oversharing video, I thought, what? Let's address. Let's just talk about it. I'm snapping on my pair eyewear shades for this one. I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted me to overshare about, and this was top three. Top three, you guys. Anyways, don't forget to pick up a pair of pear eyewear glasses so that you can easily snap on your shades like me. I'm clearly obsessed with these. I love them so much. I love how easy they snap on. I'm gonna change out the top frame for each thing I overshare about. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take a coffee break and go pick one up. So I'll be right back. It's so hot outside. Coffee's already halfway gone. Anyways, okay. Love you pair eyewear. I'm gonna stop stalling now. Okay, I'm leaving these on. Let's get back to the video. I want to address my very last breakup. This is the video. I'm gonna address it one time because everyone keeps asking me. This was a long, long time ago. My ex and I broke up because we were just not good together. Breakup was more one-sided than the other. I wanted to completely just end things and we both just ended up agreeing on it in the end. It was not pretty and that's just life. People change. I met this guy in high school literally my sophomore year of high school. I was with him for like seven, eight years. That's a long, long time. I basically grew up with him. I went from being a teenager to an adult with him. Over time, you, you're gonna change and you're gonna grow into different people and that's what happened. That's me addressing the situation. Hopefully that answered a lot of your questions. I'm sure if you look back at my TikTok videos, you'll be able to kind of see the timeline. When was this? Oh my gosh, this was like more than two years ago. I would post a video here and there of uh, like slight hints to single era, single, there's a drastic change, okay? I'm not even gonna say it was slight. It was very drastic. I moved. That was the first sign. When was that? Honestly, let's look back. That was an era. Okay, I just looked back on my YouTube, a video titled Moving Vlog Part One, and then the thumbnail is So I'm Moving. That's when 
it happened. Obviously, no one wishes to go through a breakup, but I learned so much. I came out such a better, stronger person, and I needed to go through that to find myself, and I just feel relieved and happy. I've gone to therapy, I've done the affirmations, I've done the self-reflection, I've done it all, girl. Here I am still standing. Overall, I'm just super happy. And yeah, so let's get into the rest of my carry-on bag. I carry my laptop with me if I know I have to work. This laptop case is so cute. It's from the company called My Mom Made. My laptop is my baby. Pretty much take this thing with me everywhere. I used to travel with a really small one. My eyesight is so bad, so I'll just travel with my big one because what's what's a few extra pounds on my back? You guys know my back is messed up from the DIY mirror I made. I was never into walking around wearing these. Now I'm so into it. I think it looks so cute. I got a little case for my AirPod Maxes. I got the case off Amazon. Most of the stuff will be linked, by the way, in my description if I didn't mention that already. I feel like I have a case for everything. That's like my thing. But anyways, I also carry normal AirPods with, which is like, what's the point? Some moments I want to wear this thing and they're more comfortable and then some I just want to be more discreet. I carry a pair of sunglasses with me. These are Chanel sunglasses. Oh my gosh, I almost thought they weren't in here. I was going to cry. They just look like this. Chanelies. They're so cute. They're like kind of dirty. But anyways, I love the shape of them. I think they're so cute, so fancy. I carry those with me and a little lens cleaner. My little positive penguin. My boyfriend got this for me to carry around in my purse. It just says positive penguin. I may be a tiny penguin, but I believe in you. Go do your thing. He was going to get me the pink one, but he said he got me the blue one. So it reminds me more of him. So I thought that was very cute. He also sprayed it with his cologne. I keep that with me. I have some jewelry in here. Good to know. I thought I lost this ring. Pandora ring. has a little heart on it. I have a Matching necklace to it as well. I always carry a claw clip with me. This one I showed you in my 3 a.m. purchases videos. I don't even put anything in here. I just carry it around because I think it makes the Glossier bag so much cuter. That is everything in my carry-on bag. It's getting kind of dark, so hopefully the lighting isn't bothering you guys. This is my makeup bag. I got this from White Fox. I love the gingham style. I got a text. Okay, let's see. Who's the text from? Bath and Body Works has a lot of gingham patterns right now too. Like they have the gingham loofahs, sprays now. So I thought that was really cute. I'm just gonna show you a few products that I literally cannot travel without. You have a place for your brushes. It looks like a small makeup bag, but it holds so much. All of my makeup is in this little thing. And I bring a lot of makeup. I bring like five mascaras, five blushes, a lot of lip products. Lip products are in these. I guess that's why I have a lot more space. My kids are home. <laughs> Hello. Are you still filming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told them so much tea. The manager? I decided to do an oversharing about my life video. Oh. I told them about my little surgery. I told them about my ex boyfriend. <laughs> Wait, so what I address. How are you tying it? Did you show any of this stuff? Port just brought me my drink. This is a green tea peach lemonade. It's so good. This is exactly what I needed. Um, she also just helped me come up with a name for this video. Overpacking and oversharing. So anyways, makeup essentials that I cannot travel without. This by Lumify. They're little eye drops. My sister put me onto these. They make your eyes glow so white. Your eyes look so much bigger when you use this stuff. So before I film, before I take pictures, before I go out for the night, I always pop these in. They're just little... I drops. I got these on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Just look like little hearts. Is that not so cute? I always travel with products for two makeup routines. A no makeup makeup routine and a full glam makeup routine. And I shove it all in this little bag. Some items for my no makeup makeup routine. This is the Jelly Tint by Milk Makeup. You can use it on your lips, your cheeks. It's a very beautiful color. It just looks like this. And when you touch it, it's literally jelly. This is a similar item that I cannot travel without. The Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the color Strawberry Pop. Similar concept. This is not jelly. It's a little bit harder. I always carry a lip plumper with me, even though I have filler in my lips. This is honestly the best one and I've tried so many brands. This is the winner. So this is my Grande Lib makeup tape. So when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I put tape here and it just makes it look more clean. Setting spray. Yeah, just the essential. I'll go into more detail in a different video. Okay, anyway, what else do I overshare about? I don't even know. My whole life is a movie. Oh, this is a random thing I brought with me. I was gonna do a video on it. Say it sent me this. They literally, oh, I have like random things in here too. Cute makeup bag with a bunch of their products on the inside. Say mirror. I'm assuming this is how you 
you use it. Pretty sure you're supposed to stand it like that, actually. <laughs> Setting powder, highlighter, glowy lightweight foundation, lip product, brushes. These are cotton balls. Use them. I'm gonna give most of this stuff away to you guys because I have all of this at home. This stuff is one of my favorite products. I have the mini version. I like to put it on my collarbone and my shoulders. I'm wearing a top that's kind of open like this. It just puts the whole outfit together. You can have your jewelry on, your makeup done, your hair done, and your outfit on. As soon as you put this on, you look so much more put together. You just look glowy. Go through these like crazy because I use them every time I get ready. Love that. Thank you so much, Say. I love you. I have so much to overshare about, but I can't pick just one. Wait, hold on. Let's get into this. These lovely bags over here. This was one video I had an idea for showing you guys my mini makeup. Give you like a little sneak peek. Patrick Toss say thing I was talking about. Look how cute. Like that's adorable. A Valentino perfume. Another say. This one's like a bronze glow. Makeup by Mario. Lip plumper. Mini Fenty Beauty lip gloss. My favorite lotion. It's the Josie Moran Topless Tangerine. It smells so good. Mini Glossier Blush. Mini Beauty Blender. Mini Kosa Sunscreen. Rare Beauty Highlighter. Now in the smaller one, I have my lip products. This is by YSL. This is more of like a lipstick. So luxurious. So pretty. Road lip glosses. They're like the summer shades. I'm carrying all three of those. Lawless Cherry Lip Plumper. This is what I'm wearing right now, by the way. The fact that it got like so dark behind me. Lighting still is light. The darker Summer Fridays lip balm. Love this color so, so much. I don't even know. I have excuses for every single lip gloss that I own to bring. So I don't need this many. Like I could just bring a lip balm and a colored lip gloss. It could just be two, but no, it can't be that way because I'm an overpacker. Now let's get into my toiletry bag. This one is just from Sephora. This one sold out so many times. I've had it for more than a year. It's the perfect size and so much fits in here. When you open this up, I have my hair clips, all my perfumes. I have Gucci Flora, Valentino, Aqua de Gio. I don't even know how to say that. Aqua de Gioia. I don't even know. How to... But it is by Giorgio Armani. Favorite deodorant. Showed you guys this in my last video. It's the After Sun Lotion, Face Mask. Always carry these little things with me, the little star face cases. I have blue and black stars in there. For our skincare, I carry around Image Skincare and Rose. And I have this mascara by Too Faced. It's very cute. They made it custom for me. I love them. I carry it around everywhere. I carry around my camera that I'm filming on right now. And then I recently got this one. It's the G7X Mark III. I got it for taking photos for my Instagram and I can vlog on this camera too. I don't even know how to use it. I literally just got it like on this trip. Ooh, fancy. That's my setup right now. I took a picture of my neck. Like Kim Kardashian. Mm. <laughs> I love her. Really big microphone that also fits in here. And it's a hard case too. So if it drops, there's more protection for my camera. It has a little like the fact that I just like dropped it. Two more smaller things. This is a little carrying case for my makeup brushes, which makes finding them a lot easier. This case holds my toothbrush, toothpaste, tongue cleaner, teeth serum, teeth whitener. Yeah, so everything just fits in here so perfectly. Let's get into the big suitcases. There's not really too much to show you because most of it is laying on Courtney's floor right now. We have clothes. One of my favorite bags. I will show you this because it's gorgeous. Favorite bags right now. It has a little extra pocket key case thing. And then we have a mirror. More shoes, heels, and just, you know, girly things in there. Let's open the other bag. These suitcases are from Target, by the way. I also really love bays, but my bays bags are so dirty. I just had to leave them home and use these ones. I have my Delta silver medallion tags on here. I'm almost a gold member. I love Delta. I'm so loyal to them. I will always fly them every chance I get. Oh, I forgot about this. A thing to do my makeup. It's like a little bear. Get it? Because honey bow bear. Nothing in here either. Advil. Because I thought I was going to start my period and I didn't. Just had this just in case for the plane ride. I didn't need it, so. Sisters and Seekers sweat set. That is it. That is everything I brought. I have my hair stuff too, but honestly, just a straightener, curling iron, a brush, some hair products. I overpack so much. I can live for a month or two with what I pack. Anyways, this was a two-week trip. I can't even imagine going on a month trip. It would have to be three suitcases. I'm also thinking about getting another dog and I'm moving by myself with haste. More on that later. That is the end of the video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Once again, I want to thank Pear Eyewear for my new favorite glasses. Don't forget that you can get yours for 15% off using my discount code HoneyBobaBear15. All the Pear Eyewear info will be linked in the description. When you go to their website, all you have to do is choose out your base frame and the style you want. And then you can pick if you want them to be prescription, blue light glasses, sunglasses even. Choose all your top frames. There's so many styles, so many options that they have. I love how much you can customize these glasses. Add it to your cart and it's that simple. They also have a virtual 
try on feature so you can see what the glasses look like before you even buy them. And the price for the amount of customizations you can make, they are so affordable compared to other glasses prices. I just love pair eyewear. I say we all match and get the clear Murphy glasses with the tortoise and the blush and then sunglasses. This is all you need. I'm a pair eyewear stan, okay? I'm not collecting cups anymore. I'm collecting pair eyewear frames. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye!